Welcome to this video where we will talk about diagnosing rheumatoid arthritis, an immune disease that affects the joints and causes pain, swelling, and stiffness. Early diagnosis is the key to avoiding serious complications and maintaining the patient's quality of life. We will also learn about the importance of early diagnosis and how it can change the course of treatment and significantly improve the patient's life. If you suffer from persistent joint pain or unexplained swelling, this video may be the beginning of the path towards correct diagnosis and effective treatment. Accurate diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, depends on a set of clinical, laboratory, and radiological examinations. The following are the main steps that are followed to diagnose the disease. 1. Medical history and clinical examination. Symptoms. The patient usually complains of pain and swelling in the joints, especially in the joints of the hands and feet, with morning stiffness that lasts for more than an hour. Clinical examination. The doctor looks for signs of arthritis, such as swelling, redness, and heat in the joints, in addition to restriction of movement. 2. Laboratory tests. Rheumatoid factor, RF. The presence of this factor in the blood may indicate rheumatoid arthritis, but it is not conclusive as it can be present in other diseases or even in healthy people. Anticyclic citrullinated peptide, anti-CCP. These antibodies are more specific to rheumatoid arthritis and are a strong marker for diagnosing the disease. Erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR, and C-reactive protein, CRP. These tests measure the level of inflammation in the body and can be elevated in rheumatoid arthritis. 3. Radiological tests. X-rays. They can show bone erosion and other changes in the joints as the disease progresses. Ultrasound and MRI. These tests can detect arthritis and bone erosion at earlier stages than X-rays. 4. Differential diagnosis. Other diseases that may cause similar symptoms should be excluded, such as systemic lupus erythematosus, gout, ankylosing spondylitis, etc. 5. Diagnostic criteria. The American College of Rheumatology, ACR, criteria, or the European Union Against Rheumatism, EULA-R, criteria, are used to diagnose rheumatoid arthritis. These criteria take into account the number of joints affected, laboratory test results, duration of symptoms, and other factors. The American College of Rheumatology, ACR, criteria for the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis, RA, were updated in 2010 in collaboration with the European Union Against Rheumatism, EULA-R. These criteria were designed to facilitate early diagnosis of the disease, especially in the early stages when symptoms are not obvious. ACR slash EULAR 2010 criteria for the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is diagnosed based on a point system, where the patient must score six or more points out of 10 points to confirm the diagnosis. Points are awarded based on four main categories. One, joint involvement, zero to five points. One large joint, such as knee, hip, shoulder, zero points. 2 to 10 large joints, 1 point. 1 to 3 small joints, hand foot, 2 points. 4 to 10 small joints, 3 points. More than 10 joints, including at least one small joint, 5 points. Second laboratory test results, 0 to 3 points. Rheumatoid factor, RF, and anticyclic citrullinated peptide, anti-CCP antibodies. Negative, 0 points. Weekly positive, above normal but less than three times the normal limit. Two points. Strongly positive, above three times the normal limit. Three points. Three, duration of symptoms, zero to one point. Less than six weeks, zero points. Six weeks or more, one point. Four, inflammatory markers, zero to one point. Erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR, or C-reactive protein. CRP, normal zero points, high one point. Important notes, there must be inflammation in the joints, synovitis, and it cannot be explained by other diseases. These criteria apply to patients with new or previously undiagnosed arthritis symptoms. 
early diagnosis is important to start treatment quickly and prevent joint damage. Working example. If the patient has inflammation in five small joints, three points, strongly positive results for anti-C-reactive protein, three points, symptoms persist for more than six weeks, one point, high C-reactive protein level, one point, total, eight points, the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis is confirmed. These criteria help doctors to diagnose the disease more accurately, especially in the early stages, allowing appropriate treatment to be started early.